minutes, 8 a.m. Live, local. Your Fox 29 Morning News starts now. 8.15 right now. As we all struggle to try to keep our heads above water and pay our bills on time, complaints against debt collectors are soaring faster than any other industry. The Federal Trade Commission describes the situation as a major consumer protection problem. Bill collectors are working overtime to make sure they get paid, and that means some may cross the line. And joining us now is attorney and author Sherry Olofsson with details on your rights when it comes to debt collectors. Thank you for being here, sure. Sherry. Good to see you again. Boy, this can be bothersome. Where is the line? Well, you know, John, it's a gray area, but the top complaints we get are profanity, screaming, those constant wow. phone calls, and threats, believe it or not, threats that they're going to have you arrested, threats they're going to take your stuff, your wages, and also threats that, uh, threats of violence, over 4,000 threats of violence, believe it or not. All of those cross the line under the state and federal Fair Debt Collection Act, and we actually have a full screen so viewers can okay. see that. Debt collectors are not allowed to harass you. That means that they can't threaten those things, they can't threaten to take your things, they're not allowed to use profanity and they're not allowed to make the constant phone calls. They're also not allowed to lie to you. They can't pretend to be someone else. They can't lie about who they are. They can't lie about the amount you owe and they can't lie about what they can do. And last, they can't charge you anything that's not in your written agreement with them. All of those things are against the law. Boy, but they, they get away with it apparently because this has been happening for a long time and all right. those things we just saw on the screen happens and you hear these people complain about it time and time again and sometimes they call late. Yeah, well, that's part of the problem. They're calling at all hours. They're calling offices. They're speaking to bosses. The only people they're allowed to speak to are your spouse, unless they're trying to find out where you are. But there are some things that you can do to protect yourself. All right, and what should you do? Well, it depends on whether you want to deal with this or not. But assuming you want to deal with this, I would suggest that people always take the first phone call. That's going to allow you to make sure the debt is yours, make sure it's not too old to be collected, and also see if you can work it out. Because here's the thing. These agencies work in different ways, and if they're working on a continuous that means they get a part of what they collect, they may settle more easily. Some of them have actually bought the debt. So depending on how much they paid for it, they may agree to some settlement. But oftentimes they'll agree to five or ten dollars a month in terms of a payment. A lot of these debts do get settled. Once you speak with them, within five days by law, they're required to send you a notice that tells you who the original creditor is, how much you owe, and what you can do. Now within 30 days, you're allowed to ask them to send you information verifying the debt. So your original charge, your original General signature, something showing you actually owe the money. After that point, if you still don't want them to call, here's where you need to make a choice. You can send them a no call letter, which means they won't call you, but the debt does not go away. So they can sue you. And if they sue you, you definitely want to respond to that lawsuit, as with all lawsuits. And eventually they can get a garnishment order so they can take your wages. Right. So don't let it slide. At least answer the phone that first time and right. deal get with the it. ball rolling. Deal with and it. Deal and with then it. after that point, if you don't want to, get an answering machine right. and just watch the caller ID. <laughs> Good advice. Thank you, Sherry, for sure. being here. We'll see you next time. Great. Let's go back over to the news desk.